this. Good. We serve this one, and we're done for the night. Why does the chief give us this decal? He knows I hate it. Maybe that's the reason. I didn't join the force to do this crap. I'd like to see some action. Did you say you wanted action? Check this out. I'd better call it in. Right.
other news today, the wonder drug Hair Grow, that has been the anticipation of Look all citizens there. of Cleveland, it's my has problem. failed to fulfill the scientists' expectations and those of the mayor. Bah! What do they know, anyway? Lisa, give me that quack on the line. Professor Melvin? Who else? Driver, get me 555-3843. Who do you think you are? Hey, hey! It's time to pay up. Okay, you wrecked my car! Back to one. Yeah. Back to one. Hi. May I have one slice? Sure. It's a dollar fifty, please. That's all right, thanks. Mmm, smells good. Thanks for the snack, hey. you brat. Next time. Hey, that's my pizza! Hey, who are you? What do you think you're doing? We're gonna have a real intimate conversation on the way downtown. <laughs> hey, I don't take that! I don't like that! Let's go! Come on! Ah! Move it! Hey, come on. I'm not going down anywhere with you, you fuck! You two big fuck! Oh, come on, what's the matter with you here? I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! I know everybody in this town! You little... Mr. Blankman. I ran the first series of tests on the hair girl, and the results all came back negative. Well, we'll just have to try a different approach, that's all. Mr. Blankman, uh, your work has been suffering, hasn't it? Not at all, Professor. I do all the hair girl work here at night after my other school work is finished. I've grown rather emotionally attached to the project. That reminds me. Do you want to see my science project? Oh, I get wet just thinking about it. Right here. What is that? I call it the RBTG. Really big taser gun. It is uh, big. It certainly shreds the edges of reality. How did you come to build it? Well, when I started, I was trying to invent a self-powered jumper cable. But, uh, well, one thing led to another, and presto. Can't tell soup would have been proud stringing all those cans together. Big enough to stun an elephant. Hey, I never thought of that. An elephant stunner. <laughs> Just like the one they have in Buffalo. Well, I better put this thing under wraps before somebody decides to use it on a professor. <laughs> Good idea. Talk to you later, professor. Goodbye. man for the job. Besides, I found the body. Don't you ever knock. Look, I know you're the best man for the job, but I need you out on the street. There's bad guys out there. Guys that need to be taken down hard. Now, I can't afford to have you in an investigative position. I need you out there on the street bringing these thugs in. I'm sick of walking the beat. Besides, from what I saw last night, this guy's a real crazy. We both know when the time comes to take him down, you're just gonna end up calling me anyway. I can't be a beat cop forever. 
Just give me one last chance. I won't let you down. You got it. But I'm going to be watching you. This is your second chance. Don't screw it up. Thanks, Chief. Oh, by the way, dump the earrings. You look like a wimp. Now is the time for it. Course evaluations aren't scientific. Kids never like me anyway. Taser guns. Well, some of us are trying to change the world. you think I know that? Look, people make bad investments all the time. Asking you to perform some harebrained miracle just so he can put hair on his head just isn't fair. Who says life is fair? Besides, the research department needed the money. How long do you think you can go around hiding yourself all day? It's not that bad. Besides, he wouldn't dare pull me out of a lecture. Damn, I'm sorry, sir. Oh, don't worry. The damn stuff doesn't work anyway. see me about Well, I, I just stopped by to see if you'd heard from Len. He, he wasn't at the bait shop, and he doesn't answer his phone. Oh, I haven't. By the way, did you give him those zebra mussels like I asked you to? Yeah, I sure did. He said that they work great. Well, it reminds me. He'd like me to get him some more. Is that all right? Sure, sure. Help yourself, though. Thanks. Oh, professor. Did you hear about Cornelius Brown? I don't want to with gossip. This has nothing to do with gossip. They found him by the shore, dead. The cops think it was a boating accident. Cornelius? Who's my friend? Look, I'm gonna come back later. I, uh, I'll, uh, get this stuff later, okay? I would be fine. Thanks. If you see Len or hear from him, will you let him know I'm looking for him? Okay. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Sure. Bye. Accident? No, babe, I can't make it tonight. But the chief begged me to take this tough job. I'll uh, hold on a second. I got a flat spot. Why would you want to do a thing like that? You broke my nose! What a waste. <laughs> Good work, Brighton. You keep pulling stuff like that off, and you ain't never gonna get your big chance. Too late. Chief already gave it to me. Yeah, right. You lose your playboy. Well, I do try to keep abreast of these things. You think I'm joking, don't you? Well, the chief gave me last night's murder case. And it's gonna be a big one. Yeah. That's too bad. Of all the cases, you had to pick that one. They identified the body. Cornelius Brown. Has he been positively ID'd? Well, he doesn't have any family, but... Professor Melvin, wasn't he your last big chance? 
Yeah, his wife and daughter's car slid off the road. Then some crazies desecrated their graves. That's terrible. Well, he was a teacher, and necrophilia is all the rage in the university scene these days. Anyway, you know teachers, they can piss off a lot of students in a year. He was devastated. I meant to do a follow-up, but well, you know how it is with our case, Lauren. Yeah, whatever. Well, anyway, this case is open and shut. That simple, huh? Yeah. No prints, weapon, or motive. Right. Just who or what killed him. Detective Brighton. Yes. You're not Professor Melvin. Unfortunately, Professor Melvin was held up at the university. I'm Jackie, his associate. Maybe I can help you. Yes. How do you know my name? Oh, we met before, some time ago. And where might that have been? Is there any particular reason you wish to speak to Professor Melvin? Yes, I would like to ask him a few small questions. In regards to what? If this has to do with hair grow, let me assure you that the project is on schedule. I don't know what Greenspan told you, but there is no possible way at this time that the investors of the project should be considering any legal action. Well, actually, I'm here in regards to the recent untimely demise of one Cornelius Brown. An associate of Professor Melvin's, I believe. Yes. It came as a shock to us all. Have you any leads in the case? Well, we spent a long, hard night probing deep into the areas around the waterfront, searching for clues. Sounds intense. I'd love to hear more. Unfortunately, I have a great deal of work to complete, and Professor Melvin hasn't been around today. Were you an associate of Mr. Brown's as well? I met him on occasion. Did he have any enemies you knew of? Not that I'm aware of, but like I said, I didn't know him that well. Do you know offhand what he and Professor Melvin were working on? Normally that type of information is to remain confidential, but I'm sure I can get it for you. Was there anything else, maybe a pet project? Like I said before, I wouldn't know about that sort of thing. Well, if you think of anything else... Then I'll call you. keeping chemical reaction to a maximum, you are in turn creating a large opportunity for major genetic changes. Oh. Should keep you guessing. Yes. Professor, in terms of an experiment, won't that move be dangerous? Young man, sometimes you've got to risk it all in order to reach unexplored results. Show some balls. Yes. I see what you mean. <laughs> and as Forrester's report on the amino acid sampling of the L32 crop. Obviously. Thanks to you, I'm the laughing stock of Cleveland. And not only that, 
the so-called friends that I borrowed the money from to give to you are not happy, to say the least. Research is a risky business. Melvin, the stuff hasn't grown one single solitary hair on my head. What can I say? The experiments weren't complete before you went ahead and marketed the product. Look, I gave you four months and one hundred thousand dollars. And what has it got me? Good shampoo. Huh? You get my money back. What? You heard what I said? But the money's all gone. You got 48 hours then. a few days ago, well, the door, Jimmy, this afternoon. I still can't believe it's gonna be this easy. I mean, that hydroponic shit is like big time expensive, man. Tell me about it. Once we get the stuff set up, we'll be set up. <laughs> but what if we get caught, man? I mean, this is a pretty high security building. Paid our tuition, right? Well, I don't know. I think my old man's check might have. But that's so, what so we got the right to be here. We'll say that we're using the computers or something. But what if we get caught with the shit in our hands? It's our right to borrow what we want. Look, you know as well as I will never get jobs when you graduate. This stuff's our only hope, man. Once we have it, we'll be into the green and have all the weed we need. Girls, man, tell me about oh, the girls. you know it. All the chicks like man with the bread. Oh, we'll be in for so much loving. Mm, loving. So we gonna do it? You're damn right, they owe it to us. That's right. What they call entrepreneurs. Businessman of the 90s. Oh, shit. What the hell is this? There's no wardrobe for the theater department anymore. What the hell was that? What are you talking about, man? You ain't tripping on bad shit, are you? Oh, God, I hope not, man. Oh, the last time I had some lace shit. Man, I had a really trippy night. Come on, Grace, find the lights. I'm looking for them. Can you be quiet already? Oh, what's going on here? Nothing. It's just some bad shit. Look, get some stuff, go to the van, and get the hell out of here. No okay, because this one is tripping me out. Let's go, man. I'm tripping out. I must be tripping, too. Oh man, while he lays the shit. Shit, it's security. Let's get out of here.
I have to see the mayor. But that's just not possible right now. Listen, lady, someone's life may be at stake. Very fine, but the mayor isn't seeing anyone. Tell him I'm from the research center. So? <laughs> mayor Greenspan, there's a woman here to see you. She says she's from the research center. Uh, uh excuse me, girls. Sorry. Uh, she'll uh, join. <laughs> Brighton, you there? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? You track down any new leads? Yeah, you know me. I'm on top of things. Anything concrete? Yeah, you bet. This case isn't as open and shut as you thought. Yeah, lots of suspicious things going on around our friend, Cornelius Brown. Well, that's great. Good for you. You should be proud of yourself. I can't wait to read your report. Report? Oh, yeah. Chief says he wants daily reports, you know, because you knew at this end of the policing game. You're not serious. I'm not, but he is. He wants them every day before you go home. And if he doesn't get them, you're off the case. So unless you want to be up all night, I'd go in and do that. Shit, I don't believe this. Look, you tell him I'm really busy. Believe it, buddy. See you soon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll take this one. All right. Is that gonna cover it? Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll put the change on your tab. All right. Oh, I need some bait. Uh, what are they hitting on out there today? Well, you got uh, your jiggers and surface crawlers. Uh -huh. They're always good. Of course, uh, live bait's always better. Uh, worms and minnows are good. Well, if you want a really good bite, I'd go with something like zebra mussels. Yeah. Wait a minute. Aren't those those things that breed like hell and clog up industrial waterworks? Hell no. And then, wait, wait, I saw something on one of them TV shows the other night. Plus, they said it's illegal to even put them in the water. Jack, you can't believe everything you see on TV. Plus, one man ain't gonna do any harm. Well, I guess you're right. After all, Andy, you are the master baiter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. You have a good day now. All right. Hey, speaking of mussels, here come some fresh ones now. Mm. <laughs> see you, Jack. Hi, Len. Hi, Tamara. Hey, can you get me some more of this bait from the lab? Ice fishing season's about to start, and all the fish are raving about your bait. Yeah, sure, no problem. Great. Okay, what's wrong? Mm, nothing. I, I just wrecked Professor Melvin's day, that's all. And how's that? I, I was just talking and accidentally made a reference about his wife and daughter. Whoa, bad move, Tamara. You aren't going to be in his good books anymore. Wait, no, th that's not what you think it is. What? Hair grow. Sorry. <laughs> well, at least with fur, they won't be cold this winter. <laughs> you know, a friend of mine drove the tow truck and pulled the car out of the ravine. He said that the missus was pretty mangled, but the daughter, she looked fresh as a peach. Did you ever meet her? No, Professor Melvin kept his personal life pretty private. Did you ever meet her? Nah, I can't say that I did. They'll get over it, though. Accidents like that happen all the time. <laughs> ah! Ah! Damn thing bit me! Shit, you're bleeding. Who am I feeding these things, anyhow? They look so harmless. Get me a Band-Aid.
Oh, hi, Tamara. How's it going? Did you keep from stepping on Melvin's toes today? Yeah, everything went pretty smooth. I was wondering how those zebra mussels sold. Great. Great. We're all sold out again today. Hey, you think you can get me another batch? Well, that should be a problem. Melvin's got tanks in there. Well, maybe you can double the shipment for me. What the hell? Listen, Lynn, I have to go. I'm working with Melvin at the research center for a few days. I'll get you muscles when I'm down there. Whatever. Drop them off whenever you can. Oh, shit! No water again! Cleveland PD. I'm on my way. Come on. Carla, Brighton, meet me at the university. He struck again. That's all that's left. I've never seen anything like it in all my years of security. It's an unbelievable act. Well, don't you worry about me. I see this sort of thing all the time. Well, if this doesn't make you sick, you're more of a man than me. I'm going down. Are you shitting me? I've seen a lot in my day, but I'll tell you one thing. Whatever it was, I got them two boys. Yes? We'll put it this way. There's no way it could have been human. No man could have done that. Have you secured the area? Yes or no? Wait here.
It's okay. It happens to the best of us. Not to me. You remember the time I chased that guy and threw him through the glass window? Do you remember that? Yeah, you bet. His head was totally severed. I was slipping and sliding on his intestines. Or the time I found those body parts in the dumpster. This just doesn't happen to me. Professor, Professor... I have to find out what's going on here. I don't care how big it is. This is my big now. chance. I won't be beat. That's the spirit. You can do it. Professor Melvin, good to see you again. Brighton, it's been a while. You're a busy man. I've been trying to get a hold of you. Is there some place where we can talk in private? I have a room downstairs. Follow me and watch out for the blood. Yeah, well, watch out for the puke. Professor, I was wondering how you're making out since the accident. Oh, you know how it is. I take the good with the bad. That's good to hear. Professor, I realize this isn't the best time, but I really must ask you a few questions. I understand. In all my years of police work, I've never seen anything like it before. What do you think could have done that to those boys. Could have been a coyote. A coyote? Yes. In Cleveland? Yes. That was big enough to consume two adult males? Quite possibly, yes. Okay. I have just a few more small questions. Do you habitually use drugs, alcohol, or stimulants? No. What exactly are you getting at? All I'm trying to say is that... You have to be crazy to believe a story like that! You expect me to go back to the Jeep and tell them that Cleveland's new serial killer is a 500-pound coyote? I... With a very intense appetite? I don't know what you're talking about. Look, look, if we all just calm down... And I'll tell you something to... else. If I find out you're involved in any way in this case... It's okay, Professor. One more small question. You wouldn't happen to be doing any genetic-type experiments either here or at the research center that involve a seven-foot slug-like lizard? What? what? Because it's right outside the door. I wouldn't go out there. Brighton, we're leaving this room. OK, go ahead. It's your ass. Right here! I have just one question for you, sir. Have you or any member of your family ever been diagnosed as schizophrenic or mentally incompetent?
Okay, Melvin, we're here. And this better be good. This is an extract of the envelopus plant. In this canister is what... Thermos. Canister, I'm a man of science. Whatever. In this canister is an extract of the envelopus plant. It was discovered in the early 1600s by Spanish explorers. It was said to have many life-generating properties. Unfortunately, it was picked a near extinction before technology could discover its true potential. Recently, a friend of mine ventured into South America and found a large batch of it growing deep within the jungle. He brought it back to me, and I've been conducting tests on it for the last three months. The plant possesses extreme mutagenic qualities. It can alter someone's DNA, making them stronger, live longer, even <laughs> grow more hair. Could it have created a creature like that? It's the only thing that could have created a creature like that. Well, how do we stop it? I don't know. I don't know. Cut the shit, old man, and tell me what's going on. I'm telling you the truth. This is all just theory. I couldn't get it to grow more. Well, why hair. didn't you let me shoot it? You got to understand, this is an extremely unstable chemical. You ought to know by now. It's completely unpredictable. If you'd shot that thing, it could have released a toxic gas that would have killed us all. If you spilled its blood, any contact with it could have caused further mutations. Can this thing be stopped? I don't even know what it is yet. If I can figure that out, perhaps we'll have a chance. And what if we can't figure that out? If I can't figure that out, we'll all be in serious trouble. The results could be catastrophic. First, Cleveland, then Toledo, and quite possibly the world. Where are you going? I gotta phone in and tell him I lost my partner. What do you want me to do? Stay here. Try to figure out what that thing is. I'll call you in a few hours. Got some Chinese furniture. It's over there. Please, man. Come with me. I want to have a chat with you. Lisa, don't spend too much money, huh? Moron, you're really getting a lot of press, huh? But this is a small problem. I can solve it. You don't understand, do you? You have to solve it. It isn't the money. It's the image. You have a problem, not us. You solve it. Okay. 
I solved it. Brighton, you really expect me to believe this? Damn it, Chief, it's the truth. The truth? The truth is that I've been Chief here for 15 years. And I've never had an officer underneath me that would dare even give this shit to me. Seven foot slimy monster, my ass. How can you disgrace your partner's name by telling me this junk? And also, would you please remind me why I gave you the second chance to prove yourself? Gee, you're lucky I don't throw your ass in jail. Leave your badge and gun on the way out. You're suspended. What are you doing here? I've had a really bad night. Do you know who killed those boys? Yeah, the same person who attacked Melvin and myself at Is the Melvin university. Melvin okay? And killed my partner. He's fine. You haven't spoke to him? No, but I need to talk to you about him. He's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, he sure is. Please, Brighton, be serious. This is important. Okay. What's this all about? I'm afraid for Professor Melvin. And why is that? I'm not supposed to tell anyone, but I'm afraid if I don't, something terrible is going to happen. You have to promise me that you'll help him if I tell you. I'm a cop. That is my job. You've heard of the hair grow formula that Professor Melvin has invented, right? Yeah, who hasn't? Well, in order for products like this to be made, they have to find individuals who are interested in sponsoring the project. Who might those individuals be? There's only one individual who's really relevant. Mayor Greenspan. Mayor Greenspan. Now there's an individual that would have a vested interest in a product like that succeeding. Except the product didn't work. Oh. And you're afraid Greenspan is going to go after Professor Melvin. Exactly. Where are you going? Look. Greenspan is the least of Melvin or our worries right now. What do you mean? Yes. Jackie. Melvin, are you okay? Fine, where are you? I'm here with Brighton. Put him on. He wants to talk to you. Yeah. Brighton. I've figured it out. It's a cross between a man and a zebra mussel. Yes. And I was right about shooting it. Listen, I've got to get some papers from my office, and I'll meet you later at the research center. Okay. Yeah, we're on our way. Let's go. Come on, I'll explain on the way. So don't want me balls, eh? I'll show you balls. Now, this shit looks expensive. <laughs> but if one ball, that ball's for ya. Where we are. Two 
in two seconds to show yourself. I'm going to bash your head in. All right. Very funny. Let your head down. Kick your head. said I can't shoot it. That's not how you kill it. So how do you kill it? I don't know. Only Melvin knows. Oh, no. You have to help me. You just have to help me. Oh, God. There's a body upstairs. Whose is it? I don't know. Is it Melvin? I, I don't know. No. No. 
Melvin left. He left in that car. Great. Greenspan's got him. I hope. Do you think you can take us to where the body is? Yeah. It hurts. Shouldn't we take her to the hospital? She's kind of bad. This is nothing. I once saw somebody's intestines. This is, this is a flesh wound. I swear, over there. Who? I don't know. Great. Just what we needed. Oh, that was part of his hair grow experiment. The canister is gone. The canister? The one with the formula. His hair grow formula? We'll talk later. I found it. It's not Professor Melvin. Is it a man or a woman? Why don't you tell me? Watch your step. The floor is all covered in slime. Here, take her. You OK? Mary, mother of God. I'd better call this in. You two have to get the hell out of here. Get her to a hospital. I've got to find some of Melvin's papers. I'll meet you back at my place. Here's my card. The address is on the back. Here's the keys to the front door. Don't worry. Just get her out of here. We'll talk later. Damn it. to Melvin's whereabouts? No, nothing. How's <sighs> Tamara? She's pretty shook up. She should be okay. Did you find anything out about Melvin? Jackie, that's something that we have to talk about. What exactly is your involvement with both Greenspan and Melvin? You've got to let me know what's going on if you want my help. I saw you at Greenspan's. You followed me. That is my job. I don't believe you. Well, I'll tell you what I don't believe. I don't believe you trying to pass yourself off as some little Miss Innocent with me. You saw that thing tonight, and you knew what Professor Melvin was working on. I questioned you, and you lied to me. Of course I followed you. Then I see you talking to Greenspan, who gave Melvin most of the money. Yeah, so? So, cut the shit and tell me what's going on. People are dying.
Jackie, you know I'd do anything I could to help you. I know. That's why it's important that I know what Melvin's up to. Jackie. Fine. Be like that. I had a great time. And I know you did. What's the matter now? It's Tamara. She's dead. What? How? They said she died from her wounds. What the hell is this thing? I don't know. But today, it dies. You're gonna have fun with her. Can I help you? Where's Greenspan? I'm afraid that information's confidential, and I'm not in a position that I can... You were sane? Uh, he's at a meeting at his warehouse on 8th Street. I have to... Uh... Let's go. We gave you tons of time, Melvin. Why did you disappoint us so? We had an agreement. You made promises. Why did you lie to me? Why did you break my trust? Do you know who I am? I'm truly sorry it had to come to this. But a lot of people gave me money for the hair growth. So it just wouldn't look good if I didn't try everything I could to get that money back. Do you understand? But the money is all... I'm an important man now. A take charge kind of guy. People trust me to be able to solve their problems. Now, what would they think if you didn't pay me back? What sort of people are you talking about? The people of Cleveland, of course. Well, why would they care? People make bad investments all the time. It, it happens every day. But I'm the man they made their leader. The entire city respects me. Actually, I think, statistically speaking, less than 10% of the eligible voters cast their ballot in the last election. Mock me, old man. <laughs> no more time left, old man. Tell me what happened to the money. I have nothing to say. <laughs> face with my supporters. I need to know the truth. This will help me get it. Ah! No! 
now. In a few seconds, you'll be telling me everything I need to know. It all started with a mystical plan. Actuality, while the hair grow formula didn't work, I have in fact created a substance that could change life on the planet as we know it. From now on, no one will ever have to worry about. Hi, guys! Ah, ah, ah. Nobody move! You guys are in a lot of trouble. Do you know who I am? Just don't stand there, do something! Well, Merry Just do what you're told! Substance. What's the formula? You told them about the plants? I'm sorry. What's the formula? Where's the I'm formula? Sorry. Come on, Melvin, let's get out of here. We gotta go kill I'm that thing. I'm sorry. You won't get away with this. You don't know who you're dealing with. Oh. You don't know what you're dealing with. Back off! He made me do it. I can't believe it. Wait! Come on. What's that? I'll tell you later, it's important. All these drugs are pretty good. What a kick. All right, Professor, I'm getting sick of this crap. You gotta let me know what's going on. We have to get to my lab. Your lab has been destroyed by the creature. There's not much left. And the formula? The formula's gone. We thought you had it. Interesting. I think I now know why that creature's been frequenting the university and my research lab. It wanted the formula all along. The formula? Why? I think it wants to perpetuate its species. Perpetuate its species? How? Somehow, one of the muscles came in contact with the formula and contaminated a human. It's my guess the creature wants to convert the muscles and, in turn, infect more humans. Are you trying to say it wants some playmates? Exactly. So, how do we find this thing? Zebra mussels aren't indigenous to this area. I had to get mine from Europe. The only place I know that might have some is Lens Bait Shop. How do you know that? I gave them to oh. him. Oh. Oh. Look, it's only a matter of deductive reasoning that if the creature has the formula, it's only a matter of time before he discovers where the last of them are. And when he does, we'll be there. But how do we stop it? We've got to completely unsplice the mutated DNA strands that are already in it. We've got to ionize it. And how do we do that? We've got to hit it with a giant burst of electricity. That's what this thing will do. What the hell is that? It's a giant taser gun. Biologists use it to stun elephants and buffalo. There's only one problem. It takes two hours to charge, so you only get one shot. Well, don't you worry, Professor. One chance is all I'll need. Let's get out of here. Yes, all this has to stop a little monster nook. Boss, are we shopping? What you talking about shopping? Well, what the hell are we doing here then? Shouldn't we be going to get the professor? Things have changed, my friend. There's a new order in town. New order? 
What are you talking about? All of my life, all of my friends have epithemized God. Epithemized? Caesar, Hannibal, Idi Amin. But for the first time, I have become God. 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 God? Since when? I no longer fear death. Oh, Joe Taylor. Joe Taylor? You're not afraid of Joe Taylor? Joe Taylor. God. God said. What? God sent me to kill you, Joe. You know, Professor Melvin is a good man. Look, all I know is that he created a formula that's responsible for the deaths of a lot of innocent people. The formula's not all bad. What do you mean? Something's coming! Something's coming! What, what have you done? That's it, back off. Everyone inside. Look, Greenspan. You. Just, just be quiet. You don't understand. Oh, but I do. You just killed one of my men. That's 10 to 20. Unless, of course, I get the formula. And I mean now. What's so damn important about that formula that you want it so bad anyway? Oh, they haven't told you. <laughs> no, they haven't got around to that yet. Well, my boy, the reason why they fail to tell you about this formula is because this formula is capable of the ultimate mortal dilemma. <laughs> Death. That's right. The power of immortality. Just think of it. President Greenspan. Hell, if I don't win this term, I'll just keep on trying till I do. And I will succeed. Do you know why? <laughs> because I will live forever! <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <gasps>
into the warehouse. Where are we? There's the door over there. Do you think it'll find us? I'd say that's a safe assumption. Has it gone? No way. We've got the canister. It's looking for another way in. Well, that shouldn't take it too long. Calvin, you said we had to use electricity to kill this thing. Can we do it without the taser? I, I don't think I follow you. Could we use power lines? It's possible, but you'd have to attach them directly to that thing, and I don't think you want to do that. I don't think we have much of a choice. hundred buildings in this area, and we had to pick one with no power. I think they only use this in the summer. Electrical regulations dictate the power shut off from the main breaker. And where might that be? Usually in the basement. I'll go. But careful! Breaker. Gee, uh, you're kind of cute. Uh, you know, we don't get too many uh, girls down here. I'll bet. Listen, a monster just killed the mayor. Okay, what are we looking for? We need something 16 gauge or larger to hold the charge. There must be something around here. There's got to be something. Oh, that's an engine block. That won't work. I need a power outlet. There's got to be something to plug into. There might be something around here. What about this? You're learning, Brighton. You're catching on. Ah. Shishka ball. And I've got the bait. You know, that's not the mayor's only problem. The other problem is that beat hair tonic he has. You know what he ought to do? He ought to get a living toupee. Will you take a look at that? I'm telling you. You don't that. get it, do you? We are fighting a monster. We're not fighting. We're just trying to get along. Oh, gee. Ah, gee. Where's the circuit breaker? Over there. Yeah, yeah. A power cord, yes. I found an outlet. Now, if she could only find a breaker. No! wasn't so tough.
okay? Father! What? I thought your daughter was dead. That's right, right. She did die. What you see now before you are the results of the experiment. The formula. The same formula you now must use to protect yourself from the wounds of the creature. But Father, we can use it to save you. I'm an old man. I lived a full life. It's time for me to see you, Mother. Everything I did, I did for you. Now you know why my experiments were so important. Wait! Jackie. Stay away from me. I know what you must think of me. I don't care about the past. I only care about now. And right now, all I care about is you. see those very often. Ha, you haven't been up to my lake. They're all over the place up there. Yeah, but that big? Well, no, but that's probably some rare tropical breed. Tropics? Do they have that in the tropics? Sure. I want one of those. Here, have a nice day. Enjoy your free muscle. Who's next? Oh, yeah. Can I get one of those? Sure. Uh, yeah, I'll take one too. this up and win me one of them Oscars like that Forrest Grunt guy. Ah! 